Well, the new year is a time to try new things, so why not give your taste buds something different and flavorful to try out? Metro Detroit has many great restaurants with cuisines from around the world, and our resident foodie, Michelle Oliver, is going to share with us five new cuisines to try in the new year. Have you ever tried noodles from the Philippines? How about this tasty grilled chicken from Burundi? The world has tons of delicious cuisines, and you can try many of them here in Metro Detroit. First, let's head to Ferndale to try Peruvian fare at Culantro. Their cuisine is an interesting fusion of Latin American and Asian flavors. Popular dishes include pollo a la brasa, which is a rotisserie style chicken cooked in a special charcoal oven. And lomo saltado, my personal favorite, which features steak strips cooked in soy sauce and red wine vinegar with onions and tomatoes, all served over fries. Next, how about we get some good Filipino cooking at Isla in Sterling Heights? It's run by a husband and wife team. He dishes up savory noodle and rice bowls while she combines Filipino flavors with French techniques to make these beautiful desserts. I loved these slick stir-fried noodles topped with grilled pork. And you'll definitely want to take a picture of this traditional Filipino dessert called Halo Halo. It's a blend of shaved ice with tons of toppings, all served inside a real coconut. If you're in the mood for a hearty meal, nothing will quite fill you up like the home cooking at Hungarian Rhapsody in Southgate. With the artwork, dolls, and gorgeous tablecloths, you'll feel like you've been transported to Budapest. This family-run business is a longtime favorite in the area and is serving up authentic dishes like Hungarian goulash, a beef stew which they serve in a kettle, and chicken paprikash with house-made dumplings. And don't forget to save room for dessert. Now let's head on over to Detroit to try some East African cuisine at Baobab Fair. Warm, savory spices, lots of colorful, fresh veggies, and tender, slow-cooked meats are some of what you'll find on this Burundi menu. First-timers should try their kumohana, grilled chicken that's been marinated with onions, garlic, and lemon. Or try their signature dish, numbani, which is tender beef braised in a tomato sauce. You really can't go wrong with any of these dishes. Finally, we're trying Korean cuisine at Miss Kim's in Ann Arbor. Award-winning chef Ji Hai Kim grew up with her mom's delicious home cooking, and it inspired her to become a chef. She explores her Korean roots with popular dishes like Korean fried chicken, which can be dressed with a variety of sauces, and their kimchi fried rice. Another favorite, which Jason Carr raves about, is tteokbokki sautéed Korean rice cakes tossed in a spicy yet slightly sweet gochujang chili sauce with pork belly and a poached egg on top. I'm letting Tachi ask all of them. I know. I know, I'm like, <laughs> Jason's just like going to town eating. So why not try something new? You may find a new favorite. 